All right, for this video, I just wanted to talk about one of the questions I've been getting from a lot of you, and that has to do with intermittent fasting and if you should do it or not. Uh, first, let me say that I myself do intermittent fasting. I think it's a really great tool for helping you stay on your diet, uh, especially if you're in a calorie deficit to try to lose weight or lose fat. Um, now, I think it really depends on your own schedule, your own eating preferences and things like that to say if you should do it. Um, I think you should definitely try it. It's you really I don't have anything to lose trying giving it a try and only everything to gain from giving it a try. So I do suggest you try it. Um, and when I say try it, I mean do it for at least a week because the first couple days might actually be pretty hard. Um, some people have had a hard time trying to fast for you know a certain amount of time the first few days, but then once they get past the first few days, they get in the rhythm of it, and it's really not hard, and they don't they don't hate it anymore. So uh, definitely give it you know enough time to see if it's right for you. Um, for you that don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's basically just extending the time that you don't eat. Uh, so, obviously you're not eating while you're asleep. Um, and there are people that have a certain amount of time that they allow themselves to eat for. Uh, there's some schedules where you fast for 18 hours and you eat for six. Uh, myself, I don't really care too much about that kind of timeline. Um, I usually eat the same time every day around 1, 1 1.30, so I skip uh, breakfast, and that, that's the best way for me. I've never really been a big breakfast person anyways, and when I was, was eating breakfast and making food, I was basically forcing myself to do that. So, I, you know, I don't I'm pretty sluggish in the mornings, and I really did not like having to create a meal, cook a meal in the morning. So this, it to skip breakfast was pretty much, I mean, just really easy for me. Um, there are times where I get a little hungry before I have my first meal, and to curb that hunger, I usually have some kind of coffee or some kind of low zero calorie uh, drink, so maybe diet soda or um, green tea, something like that. And that usually makes it pretty easy to stay uh, to my schedule and not not eat till about 1, 1.30 in the afternoon. Now, after I do start eating, I really don't give myself a limit of time when to stop. I just eat whatever feels natural or whatever is easiest for that day um, and I'll eat till I go to sleep you know it's not like I have to um, stop eating after six hours or whatnot I uh, just just keep eating till I hit my calorie goal for the day so that's pretty much intermittent fasting um, if you have other questions about it you know definitely let me know uh, it just makes it's really just a tool to make it easier again to uh, hit your calorie goals when you're only eating after a certain amount of time, um, it makes the it allows you to have bigger meals, so you're not um, you're not going to bed hungry. At least if if you're if you're skipping breakfast and eating on the same schedule that I I eat, you know I never go to bed hungry. I'm always satisfied with the meals that I eat. Uh, they're large meals. Um, if you are the opposite and you don't like eating dinner, then you could try that. You could. Uh, start your fast after lunch and wait till the next morning, you know, have until breakfast. So I, myself, that would never work just because, uh, I don't like going to bed hungry. So that just wouldn't be for me. But if, again, if you are the kind of person who is satisfied after lunch and can go without eating dinner, then do try that. You know, if you, if you like eating breakfast more than, more than dinner. Um, 
There are also a lot of claims out there that it can help you lose fat, um, it can increase your human growth hormone. Um, that's based on some research that's out there as well. I haven't really looked into it enough to make or give a good opinion on it. Um, I'm pretty skeptical about research being that I have a background in science. So a lot of stuff like that I have to really look into. I have to see what the controls are and other aspects of the study. But, you know, it, it could be possible. And, you know, there, there might be good evidence. I just haven't looked at it myself. So I can't really uh, condone that. But if you have any other questions, uh, just about intermittent fasting, uh, maybe some things that I do with it, or just any other advice, just let me know. Um, and if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks.